Okay. Now, uh, before proceeding that, uh, uh, like this is a, uh, here we discussed a single inheritance, a multiple inheritance, multi-level inheritance, hybrid inheritance, and hierarchical inheritance. Okay? Awesome. Got it, right? So, what is yes, the super, super class? Okay, super class or super keyword. Use that. Okay, super keyword. Now, I am taking one class. Uh, yes, much is enough. Control C. Now, this is uh, which inheritance is? This is like a single inheritance. Okay? Yes, sir. This is single inheritance. How we are understanding? Like uh, here we inherited parent uh, and he, this one also we are doing. Right? So, by seeing this, we can understand this is like a single inheritance. Okay? Yes. This is what single inheritance. Now, <clears throat> Super indicates, okay, super indicates for the, for the above class, okay, above class are like a parent class, okay, super indicates for the above class or parent class. So, if you are writing super here, it will indicate this class, parent class, okay. So, why we use the super, okay, super is a keyword in python okay and uh, it returns returns the objects okay objects or methods also we can say methods of the parent class okay parent class now syntax of the super class okay <coughs> super <coughs> this one Okay, this is my parent class. Okay, this is my which class guys? This is my yeah. child class. Now, now what I am doing here? Here I am writing super keyword. Okay, super. What it will do? It will return. Okay, it will return parent class. Okay, it will return parent class uh, properties or methods uh, you can call. Now, how to call this? Okay, I not wrote syntax. Uh, I wrote the syntax. Okay, anyway. Super, uh, I will write like this underscore yeah, super. This one, got it right, guys. Here you need to inherit, okay. Here you need to inherit, then only super will work, okay. Which class you are giving here, that class only super class for the child, that class only super class for the child, guys. Now, <coughs> here. Uh, what what we are passing we are passing a b values right okay no issue uh, i am creating one class object okay that is child object so c underscore obj okay you can write any names guys don't write a obj but this is like a syntax generally we will understand by uh, this is like a uh, class object like that we will understand now child inside child what i need to pass guys <coughs> inside child what i need to pass I need to pass a b okay a b so for that i am passing like a 30 comma 30 okay 
30 comma 40 now now c underscore obj c underscore obj dot okay c underscore obj dot what is our method guys multiplication super yeah next c underscore obj uh, sum file c underscore obj obj subtract okay Okay, so see, I am having my folder location at the D drive. Inside D, there is a folder name called Python. Inside Python, I am having students folder. Inside students, I am having evening batch 3. Okay, evening batch 3. Inside that classes, okay. Now ls. Uh, what is my uh, name? Guys, right? super keyword dot py. Okay, super method also you can call guys. Okay, better go with the super method. Okay, now Python to run that Python super. Okay, uh, three positional argument given, but four. Okay, three positional argument, but four were given. Okay, just give me a second. What they are doing? Okay, first of all, they are passing. Okay, child object to here. Okay, from here to we are passing here. Okay. Super. Out. Underscore underscore unit. Uh, yeah, here self is not required. Now sorry. Uh, child object has no attribute called subtract. Okay, what is uh, we are giving? Subtract. Okay, what is the spelling mistake or what? Subtract. Okay, sorry. It's a spelling mistake. Now, yeah, see guys, I got the output right. Yes, sir. Okay, this is what uh, my output guys. So previously, previously, what we are doing, we are writing. So simple. What is a super means? Huh? It is like a single inheritance only, guys. Single inheritance only. But here we are using super, okay, super uh, method or super, super function, okay. Now, what is happening? This is like a assume this is a parent and this is like a child, okay. Who is a super class for this? When we are inheriting, okay, parent is a super class for this. So, because of that reason only, we are writing super, okay. We are writing super, uh, super parenthesis underscore underscore in it okay underscore underscore in it underscore underscore okay after that you you can directly write a b or something like that, your variables okay you can write uh, your variables directly so that you will get the output and uh, inside super you need not to write uh, self okay self is not required getting or not guys self also from like under action self also and less in the moment of angels no more self rasu no okay here we are writing like a self when we are inheriting parent class okay we are writing self but this time you need not to write a self self name right later this is like a parent class okay parent class is a super class for child 
parent class is a super class for the child. Understanding, right? The above yes. function you will get as a output. Self and Raya Kunda super and is the super and above class. class. Super class. Self and Raya Kunda Gadani. Parent and Raya Kunda, super and Rasheshi, super than Klo, self Raya Sra Pandu. Okay. Okay, little difference is there. Now, anyway, we will go with the one more example. Okay, similarly, control C. I will change the names, guys. Okay, now instead of this, I am writing like a uh, what can I write? Employees. Okay, employee. And uh, this is fine. This is okay. Control question mark. And inside this, inside this, I am giving like a name. Okay. Uh, name. <coughs> Address I am giving. Stage uh, anything you can give guys. Okay, no issue. Self dot name is same. Here what it will come? Here name will come. And uh, here, okay, at this place address. Okay, it's uh, not a ad guys. It's an address. Okay. Address is equal to address. Now, now self is fine. Here, uh, this time I am not taking. Uh, star why because these are the strings okay these are the strings because of that reason only i am not taking strings uh, but here what i am writing okay parent details okay parent details and a comma sir star and numbers and star this call ah how many and then we go number into string on the church python allows Number into string, not a string and name. Ah, chair chandy man. Okay. Okay. But you can enter under render strings of string out string into string jelemo, but string plus string j and minus okay. also it will not accept. Minus okay. accept j, but okay, man j shell. Now what I am doing? I am writing details. Okay, I am writing details. Number eight. Here. Here my name. Okay. And next one like a address address here is also uh, anyway second method is not required but okay we are deleting this okay we are having okay employee details employee underscore details you can write any method name guys i am taking like employee details because it is relevant Okay, it will learn. Now, here, here you can write a uh, okay, temporary, 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 temporary employee. Okay, now here I am inheriting employee class. Okay, so inside my employees. Okay, inside my employees, all are not related to full time. Few are temporary, few are like a full time. Understanding, right, guys? So now, now, here I am passing like a name, okay, and address. Name, address. Here is also I am passing name, okay, here address. Okay, for super class. For super class, I am passing. Okay, and here subtraction is not required. If you want to write any other uh, thing, you can write, guys. Okay, any other thing you can write. Uh, suppose I am writing like a. Um, <clears throat> okay, up to here. Uh, address, but here I will write like a age. Okay, age. Now, how to collect that here? self dot age age is equal to age okay this variable related to which class guys this is temporary employee related one okay you can take more uh, uh, more variables also okay now i want to print age okay age underscore display age underscore display now self is fine and here okay self dot age self dot agent now 
okay from here from here what i am doing i am passing one i am creating one object okay t underscore obj okay t underscore obj temporary employees okay what what details i need to pass guys name address for employee class and age for temporary employee okay temporary employee class so for that for that i am giving like a okay rajesh okay the name and address from hyderabad okay from hyderabad age is like a 34 okay age is like a 34 now i created the object okay but uh, what parent class sorry what employee class will take rajesh and hyderabad only uh, taken by employee class it will print a rajesh and a address hyderabad but uh, what my uh, temporary employee class will do age it will display okay age it will display now e underscore obj employee details okay employee details now after that e underscore obj uh, okay not employee details this time age display okay age display uh, this is a one way guys now we will see one more way also yeah nothing is open now go to here run this one so what i got parent okay i will not change the name just to give a second okay this is like a uh, employee details employee details save this one and uh, here also i written like a child class right this is a temporary temporary employee class now okay i got the rajesh from hyderabad and uh, uh, temporary class uh, age is like a 34 okay it is looking like a little little different output we are seeing right guys if i want all the output very clearly okay if i want the uh, output very clearly you can write like this okay control c it's a one way and if you want some more clear okay some more clear you can write like this also <coughs> Print, okay print okay here here what i will do oh, this is fine only now anyway t o b j name okay t o b j name and here i will write a little clear information employee employee name okay employee name next uh, control c control v employee address okay so that we can understand we can import variables also okay address till now how we are using guys we are not uh, taking the values okay till now we are directly running like this okay we are checking the details from here only but uh, what i am doing i am taking the variable name outside okay i am taking variable names outside now one more uh, print i am having like a uh, related to age employee age comma t o b j dot age now now observe the output guys if you want i will open this one also control one okay print double quotes double equal okay this time i will not give equals i will give like a star sir yes sir koncham urgent work undi nen malli connect avutanu oka 5 minutes okay, okay no issue okay. Now, yeah. So, if you observe this one, okay, here also we are getting the details. Rajesh Hyderabad, and here 
we are simply written here but here here we are we are writing very clearly okay we are writing very clearly now uh, just a second control screen yeah up to here okay up to here we are writing not that much good print statement but here we are writing like a little good print statements and we are extracting the variables okay we are extracting the variables from the class and we are printing that variables understanding right guys is it clear or it is having little tricky Robin, is it clear? Hello? Robin, are you there? 